The Clark Technic Mic Booster CT1 is an inline dynamic microphone booster from Clark Technic, and it's aimed as direct competition for the Triton Audio Fathead. I needed a booster for my SM7B, which you can see here, and I was in the market for a cloud lifter, since it's actually quite hard to get the Fathead in New Zealand, uh, when I came across the CT1. And because of the low price, it seemed like a no-brainer to just give it a try. The CT1 costs around $70 in New Zealand, whereas the cloud lifter is $280. I actually did find another inline booster, the SE Electronics DM1, and that is $230, so I went for this one. The CT1 is a simple device which adds 25 decibels of gain to your dynamic microphone. You plug one end into your microphone directly, and the other into the cable that runs to your preamp. The CT1 is powered by phantom power, so setup is about as simple as it can be. Let's run some tests to see how it sounds and if it's adding anything like noise to the signal path. For this I'm using my SM7B obviously, and I've got a Universal Audio Apollo Twin audio interface. This is the noise floor on the SM7B without the CT1, with the preamp set to plus 50 dB. Now since the CT1 advertises positive 25 decibels of gain, I think it would make sense to add the CT1 into the signal path and then reduce the gain on the preamp by 25 decibels. Let's see what happens then. This is the noise floor on the SM7B using the CT1 and with the preamp set to plus 25 decibels. Now for a test on my voice to see if the CT1 changes it in any way. This is the SM7B on its own with the preamp set to 50 decibels speaking around 3 inches from the microphone on axis. There's no noise reduction, EQ, or any post-production processing. This is the SM7B with the CT1, with the preamp set to 25 decibels, and I'm speaking around 3 inches from the microphone on axis. There is no noise reduction, EQ, or any post-production processing. So really, I think that this is a pretty cool little inline mic booster. It does its job. It's fairly transparent. You can see there is a little bit of difference between the EQ curve of the SM7B on its own and then with the CT1, but it's kind of negligible. Um, you could probably adjust for it if you're being really kind of picky. Um, for my purposes, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think it sounds great. And yeah, I've been really happy with it. One thing that it does allow me to do, it just gives me more gain with my mic. So instead of having to crank the gain right up, um, I think I was going to you know, positive 58 decibels, um, which you know my interface maxes out at 60, and I was having to speak right up close to the mic. Um, whereas now, you know, you can hear me. I'm I'm a decent distance from the mic. I'm sitting at 37. That's a comfortable kind of place for me. Yeah, it does a great job. I'd recommend you get it. Um, I can't test with the fat head because I haven't got one, obviously. But um, for all kind of intents and purposes, I think this probably does about the same job. So in terms of value for money, this is where it's at, $70 New Zealand, I'm sure it's much cheaper uh, overseas. Uh, I also think that the noise floor test, you know, showed really a negligible difference. Um, and that test was done in the vocal booth, um, you know, at a really quiet time. So overall, I think it's a great product. And um, hopefully this video has informed your decision on whether you would like to buy it or not. Good luck.